Hi, it's Diana from earlier. I'm just checking that everything's okay. Can you give me a ring back, please? Thank you. Bye. He's done what? Don't put him into isolation, seriously, he'll start kicking off. What do you, what do you mean he's refusing to teach him? Yeah, Mr Johnson, his history teacher, that old guy, I mean, elderly man. He's scared of him. How can he be scared of a 14 year old? Sarge, our 24 hours are nearly up, we need to get back in there. Look, I appreciate he's challenging. He's been this way ever since the separation. Yeah, I know he's out of second chances. Let him see the rest of the day out and I'll talk to him later. I promise, I promise I will get it sorted this time. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Everything all right? I've got 15 years working in the police force and I can't even keep my own son on the straight and narrow. How's he looking? Very cocky. That your dog? Yeah, so? What's he called? Winston. Churchill, like the dog in the car insurance advert? All right, Miss Marple, you got me. It's a fair cop. Nothing gets past you, does it? Okay, Mr Jones, just a reminder, this interview has been recorded. I'm DS3002, Jane Sutherland, and the old police officer present is... DC3204, Tom Harris. Okay, Mr Jones. Oh, bloody hell. It's one thing to be sat here for a crime I didn't commit, but I didn't expect to have front row seats of amateur hour. Oh, well done, T-Boy. You're doing a sterling job. Mr Jones, for the purpose of the recording, would you like to tell me why you're here? Your guess is as good as mine. You clearly haven't got anything on me, but here I still am. I just think you like spending time with me, don't you? Don't flatter yourself. You're being interviewed about the murder of Diana Stevens. Like I said, I don't know the bird. Sorry that she's brown bread, though. You think this is funny, Mr Jones? Because what we saw last week wasn't funny. Who called it in? A friend. She was supposed to be meeting her the day she died, but she never showed. Any news on a car? Yes, it hasn't been stolen. Uh, she checked it into a local garage. We managed to track it down. Uh, it was in for repair. Hmm. What was in the garage for? Um, front bumper replacement. How old is she? 23. Shit. No sign of a struggle. Simple blow to the head. Fairly quick, I would imagine. Hmm. And hope. What's that? What's what? That tattoo on her leg. Who is it? I believe that's Eminem. You know, the rapper. Each to their own. I'm more of a Rod Stewart kind of girl myself. It has been said down at the station. What's that? That you love a bit of Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky bastard, I'm your superior. <laughs> no, there was nothing funny about it whatsoever, Mr Jones. Just the very sad sight of a young woman cut down in her prime, age 23. Her whole life in front of her, gone in an instant. Bloody hell. Why stop there? How about you get the child prodigy here to get out the violin? Jesus Christ. Where were you the night Diana was murdered? I was at home. It was a Saturday. Sit in! It's just so very convenient that nobody can support your alibi of being at home all evening. Oh, I'm sorry. There's living at home a crime now, too. This is a complete and utter waste of time. I'm sorry she's as dead as Dillinger. But I have no idea what happened to her. Well, let me help explain. <laughs> Hey, I up. Yeah, yeah, of course I'm still up for it. Yep, I have had a shocker of a day. Yep. I'll tell you all about it when I get there. Okay, see you about nine. Bye. Bye. When she goes downstairs, somebody's waiting for her. A quick but brutal blow to the head, and she's dead. Now, 
You know why you're here, Mr. Jones. You received a phone call from Miss Stevens earlier that same evening. How do you know each other? How many more times? I don't know her, and I never spoke to her. It was a missed call. She probably dialed the wrong number. Also, I've got a new number. Don't phone numbers get recycled these days? I mean, God forbid I do your job for you guys, but maybe she was trying to reach the person who had the number before me. I bet Princess Di was making a booty call, trying to contact an old flame, wanting to know if they fancied a bit of action with a real slim lady herself. Sorry? What? The real slim lady, as in... The real slim shady. Even for you, that's a niche reference. What are you talking about? You give everybody derogatory nicknames, don't you, Mr. Jones? They're usually puns or wordplay based on their character or personality. I'm Miss Marple, presumably because I'm a female detective. He's the T-boy and child prodigy, because, well, granted, he looks about 13. Even your own dog's name is based on a car commercial. Princess Diana. I get that. But the real slim lady? That's a reference to M-I-N-M. -M. M -M. Now, why would you give her such a nickname, Mr. Jones? Can you explain that to me? Cremation or burial? What? Winston. Will he be cremated or buried? He's dead, isn't he? Died last week. Run over. Ran in front of Diana Stevens' car, damaging her front bumper. You exchange details with her at the scene, and then rush Winston to the vet. But it, it's too late. His injuries are irreversible. You have to have him put down. When you return home to your empty house, the anger and the grief grows inside. You want revenge. You locate her address details using her phone number and then stalk her house. You wait, wait for the right moment. She goes upstairs. You let yourself in and wait again. When she comes back downstairs, you kill her. Brutally and mercilessly. Isn't that what happened, Mr. Jones? I can see how much you must have loved Winston. You live alone, so he's everything to you, your entire world. But isn't it true that you killed Diana Stevens because she ran over your beloved Winston? I just miss him so much. <laughs> yeah, Sarge. Another brew from your personal tea boy. Thanking you. That was impressive, Sarge. The dog. Never in a million years would I have thought of that. What can I say? You've either got it or you haven't. And today I was on fire. Absolutely. By the way, front desk have been trying to get in touch. The schools rang. Apparently his son has locked his history teacher in the cupboard and thrown away the key. Oh, bollocks. <sighs>